what is going on we are back on twitch let's get into it thanks again for everybody showing some love stopping by the games keep rocking and rolling you know how we do the very fun ride as always here in the usf bay i see it filling up a little bit apologies for the uh little bit of technical issues there but it was mostly on the let's see the what's real before obs side of things but just had to restart it put it back on i think everything is looking pretty good i believe you're in fozzy so no need to worry about that you don't got to spam it um right, let me see how many people we got up here i see three i see three different people ryan is in there Fat boy Jay and Fozzy, and now it's four thanks to Big Homie Swoosh House trying to get the W. I see you, Big Homie. But let's go ahead and get into it. Thanks for everybody stopping by, showing love, and we're going to get this thing rolling in just a little bit. Just doing some small things here on my side to make sure it's optimal for each and every one of y'all. But going to be interesting to see here. Don't go anywhere. And got a couple glitches here i don't know what's happening um let me see do 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 i'm gonna go ahead and close that let's go ahead and get into a first fray up in the building he said he ready and it's gonna be a fun ride here as always it's gonna be tacoma at detroit for this ball game East, I'm sorry, Western Conference matchup should be an interesting sight to see. And Tacoma's having themselves a pretty solid start to their season. I believe they're two and one up to this point. Detroit is one and two. And with the Detroit victory, we'll have these two teams even out. I think Detroit will be above Tacoma in the standings if that was to be the case. And without further ado, I think I'm ready to go if y'all are ready to go. Dane Jones versus Action Jackson Jr. in this ball game. Let's go ahead and hit it. And it looks like Detroit is going to start us out with the football, and we are underway. Let's go ahead and flip into it in just a little bit. I got to flip over. There you go. And we're going to go ahead and get this one cooking. Looks like Detroit's going to start us off with a football. Rocking the alternate unis right here. Let's get into it. First and 10 coming. Going to pass it here. Going to look for a man right side and caught. And there goes Sean McGowan getting past the 40. And it's going to be first and 10 coming up. Time to see what Tacoma's new book could do against a good team. Most definitely. Definitely the biggest test here. For uh, Mike O'Neill in his second start as the general manager. If you want to call it that. Detroit looking to get the W here tonight. Got another game a little bit later. Going to hand it off, pushing forward. And he's going to cut around and get stopped down by John Carter. It's going to be second and eight coming up. Sean Justice up in here. He playing a little bit later today. Got a new user up in here. What's happening? How you doing? I'm Rise Lowell. I don't know who that is, but shout out to the big homie. Hand off, pushing forward. Going to get stuck. And there goes Coco Raccoon. Oh, that's the new kicker. Okay, bet, bet, bet. Doing well. Got some things to... By. So that is going to be Aiden Teixeira. I did make you, so you'll be in the next game coming up here for Huntington Beach, the last game of the week against Charlotte. That'll be tomorrow around 6 o'clock as we're going to see the pass and going to be caught. Going to be shy of the mark there. Going to be fourth and one. And Tacoma's going to get the stop on defense. Entrevis Quinton. Head close to be able to turn up, but could not quite get it. Yeah, he already did it for what I see. Actually, Detroit's feeling frisky. They're going to keep their offense on the field. Quick pitch right side and wide open. There goes the big homie. 
Amari Jones in Detroit is going to keep the drive alive. It's first and 10 coming up here. Handoff, no, it's a fake. Looking for a man left side. Gonna be caught inside the 20. There goes Uncle Swoosh for his first catch of the game. It's gonna be first and 10. Mike Jack up in here, AKA Mikey Jackson. Thriller. Hasn't quite hit the defensive front today, but he says he's ready to play. Whoever's going up against him, he might be going up against the rookie Kamari Williams. We'll see how that turns out as we're going to see the drop back. Looking right side and caught rumbling forward. Can he reach for the end zone to swoosh? He's a little yard shy. And Detroit's having himself a pretty great start to the game on offense. It's going to be first and goal. Empty set here. Gonna be passing it again. Middle fields wide open there for Amari Jones, and they left him free. Touchdown, Detroit. They're gonna kick it off early here, and the Hellhounds will strike first. Sending this one away. Kick is up. Kick is good. And Detroit's going to start it out with the tutty. Tacoma coming onto the field for the first time. You see right there, King Maximus doing his thing. He ain't feeling that drive, but he'll be back on defense eventually to make some things happen. Kawu up in the chat, what's happening? Whenever Kawu said, uh, please and thank you, it's a good day for Detroit. He said he had his books ready to go for this one. Made some adjustments. And he says he's ready to ball out the rest of the year. It's gonna be a return, gonna be the big homie James Peach rumbling to around the 25 yard line. And that's going to set up first and 10 here for Dane Jones and the gang. Uh, Mikey Jackson in the chat saying Dane's going to give me one today. We'll see if that comes into play. Dane Jones been in the league for about four seasons or so. He's looking to turn up here as we're going to see the hike first time, first pass, first completion. And there goes number three making the catch. Not 100% sure who that is. That's Jamari Ramses. Okay. That's the rookie right there doing his thing. Getting his first catch early. First and 10 coming up here for Tacoma. Can't be mad at that start. Now they got to finish it. Pistol formation, gonna fake the handoff, going with the read option, and it's gonna work. Gonna rumble forward past midfield. And pretty percented there, and it's working so far. Here for Mike O'Neill's offense, it's gonna be first and 10 coming up. And big homie Sean Justice says he wants to fight against time. So we'll go ahead and add that for you after the game today. If first Frey is here, he could go ahead and do that if he got some time. Jaina Buckley is going to go with the sub. Shout out to my girl Jaina up in here. 
Brian Davis says that read option is dangerous. See Roland, that, I believe that's uh, the big home at Rocco McLovin, if I can recall. Exclamation point USFA getting the giveaway. We have one giveaway today in this game, one in the next game today, and then there'll be two there tomorrow for the final game of the week. So make sure you watch out for that. I'll, I'll try to make it uh, four giveaways a week. Um, I'll make that the norm. Try my best. Uh, it's going to be third and seven coming up. How's everyone doing in the chat? Hope you're having a bless Thursday afternoon going into the evening. Third and seven coming up here for Tacoma. Dane Jones is going to drop back looking for a man. Throws a short. That ain't going to get it done. And he loses the football. Is Davin Brewer. And Detroit's going to get the stop. Big homie Eshelman is in the chat too. Exclamation point USFA. Get in the giveaway. As we'll see the punt here. Brent Skoma. Dubbed as the best kicker slash punter of all time. As we're going to see him almost get it into the setup inside the five. But not to be that's going into the end zone. Detroit's coming back onto the field. And we'll see what they do. Passing it again, looking for a man. Gonna launch it left side. Is going backwards still. The man that caught the touchdown. There goes Amari Jones. Losing two on the play. Who's that on the tackle though? That's Coco Raccoon right there. Doing his thing. Number six to nine. So that's a nice play. Tacoma trying to get off of the field. The tr a Hellhound should have a more ominous color scheme. Gonna be handed this one off, and there goes Samari Jones. Look at this being ominous. A first down play potentially right there, and he is gonna make it happen. First down coming here for the Hellhounds. I do love the chat helping out with the commentary. You know what I'm saying? Gonna send four at action. He stands in the pocket and gonna throw a dot. There goes the big homie, Uncle Swoosh, in his first and ten again. Empty set here for Detroit. Action has been standing in the pocket, letting the game come to him, looking right side and caught. Rumbling forward, getting close to the first down mark, might be a little shy, but action so far perfect on the day. Second and inch is coming up. Mr. Killer Skrilla up in here, aka Action Jackson Jr. up in here. Hell have no fury, like a woman scorned. I don't have another word that rhyme with that off the top of my head. I'm sorry. It's going to be second and inches coming. Brian Ushman says bring more pressure. Now they're going to try to read option. Reaching for the first down is action. And I think he got it. Yes, he did. Great job there. It's going to be first and 10 coming up. Detroit in their midnight blue alternate uniforms today in prime time. Yeah, what's good catching some between people putting orders and I feel it working hard hardly working it'd be like that it's going to be a fake of the handoff going to stand in the pocket but running out of time that's going to be a sack and there goes Ronnie Shannon hand a third it's going to be second and 18 coming up Brian Eshelman ready to put the hot pink in their place. Looking left side and caught. 
another completion here for Detroit is going to be third and 16. I work grill with no AC in the kitchen. It's hell. Oh, hell no. Nah. You're doing better than me. I'd rather stay in the air condition, which was turned off today. Unfortunately, it's been missing up all day. So hopefully by the time I go back in on Saturday, it'll be all good to go. You know what I'm saying? But it's going to be third and 16 now. They, Detroit has to get past the 32 yard line to keep the drive alive. Look at right side and punched out of the hands. There goes the Kaj Naslo knocking it away from Mr. Entrevis Quentin. It's going to be fourth and 16. He's also how Stacy is jacked up, not working there. That's all bad. Can't get no cool air at home or at work. I can't do it. Someone's got to fight. I'm crashing out. It's going to be fourth and 16, and we'll see Javon Gusto try to pin the Tacoma defense. I mean, Tacoma offense. I'm going to send this one deep to the middle of the field, but that is going to go into the end zone for a touchback. Don't like that decision or play call. Looked like they had some guys going past the sticks. I think that was more decision on that than play call. But maybe that was the primary receiver. And if that is the case, then yes, that is definitely not the right play call. You know what I'm saying? Trying to be objective here as he almost got the big homie off size. And that's a B going to be caught. And there goes Jamari again. And he's going to get stuck right at the end of that play. There by Justin Brown. It's going to be first and 10 coming up here for Tacoma. Trying to get back in his ball game. And that's going to be the end of quarter number one, folks. Throw your twos up. Let's get into it. We just getting started tonight. Potentially seven more quarters for the rest of the day. As we're going to see the play get flipped a little bit. Pistol formation. And they're going to try the read option. They faked out the big homie. Here comes Dane Jones for another first down play. Looking like... Lamar Jackson with the number, but he's wearing the wrong colors. It's not purple. It's red up in here. It's first and 10 coming. Calvin Thomas and Reese Rockefeller combining on the tackle. Would they try it again? It's been working. They're going to send a man in motion. Then hand it off. There goes Brewer for his first touch. Rumbling forward and picking up nine. Second and one coming up here for Tacoma. Is it going to fake the handoff here? Looking for a man. Steps up. Middle of the field and caught. And there goes Rocco McLovin with his first catch of the game. First and 10 coming up here. Let's see how Tacoma plays this one to get into Detroit territory for the first time tonight. Submissions are closed and majority of the people are leaning towards Detroit winning this one. We'll see if that is the case. Right side and caught. Turn it up. Getting the first down and a whole lot more. Inside the 30. There it goes. And there it goes uh, James Peach there with the catch of 14 yards. Tacoma's moving the football right now. They're looking pretty nice. Tacoma says that now that they got the man, they're ready to be the man. And my big homie, Killer Scrolla, says he's subbing again. What's happening? Great job. I'd love to see it. If that is going to be a sack. Right up the middle, Tank Falco Jr. Second and 16 coming up. Look at that speed coming to play right there. We're going to send a man in motion. Gonna hand it off again, finding a crease. Rumbling forward inside the 25. Then it's gonna make it third and five coming up. Davin Brewer having himself some success here in the ground game as well. Not just Dane Jones. They're finding creases. They're getting inside the mix. 
And Detroit's having a little bit of issue trying to contain this run defense. We'll see if that continues on. The crowd's feeling that they want to get him off the field, hold him to three, or maybe even a turnover if possible. They're going to send a man in motion. And they're going to try to read option, but they read it. And he's not going to get anywhere that way. That's going to be a sack. Honestly, should be a tackle for loss, but I'm not going to dispute it. It's going to be fourth and seven coming up. And the Detroit defense makes the play. From the right hash is Brent Skoma. A 42-yard field goal. Put the first points on the board today. Kick is up and is going to the right and is going to be missed. Missed it by that much. And Detroit is going to hold them to zero. Shotgun handoff. There goes Tamari Jones picking up. Oh, sorry, that was Entrevis Quentin picking up one yard right there. Brian Eshman said, Hats on. Let's get the offense back onto the field. We got to get some points on the board. Maybe they could use one of those timely John Carter interceptions like they seen last week. Gonna be passing it here, looking for a man, looking left side and caught, turning up. He's gonna use that speed. One more man to beat. Not gonna get touched. Hellhound touchdown. Sean McGowan, big Sean. You better watch him. And just like that, the hats will come off. Sending this one away, kick is up and good. And Tacoma's coming back onto the field a lot quicker than they expected. All it took two plays. Or was it one play? Was it one play? I got confused. Regardless of that, Tacoma's got a little bit of a hole to dig out of. Coach Tito in the building. What's happening? Seen some looks there from Brian Eshelman earlier exploring the city of Detroit. Prior to the game. As we'll see the return here. Tacoma looking for a big one. And he'll get taken down around the 23 yard line. Is James Peach. Tacoma back onto the field looking to get something cooking. First and 10 again, going to be passing it. No, it's a run play, running up the middle and falling forward to around the 27. Going with the quarterback draw on the play. Going to be second and six. Dane Jones looking to be the quarterback rushing leader going into next season, playing into his strengths. He's definitely a fast back, so I can see where Mike O'Neill was going with this playbook. Almost had a man off sides, right side and caught. And there goes Jamari Ramses again for his third catch there for number three. First and 10 to Coma. Tacoma's catching them with that quick in route there. The defense playing some outside coverage and now he's leaning more towards the inside. Going to stretch this one, pushing forward, gets past the 40. Three carries, 25 yards there for Brewer. Number 25, getting 25. 
Gonna send a man in motion. Gonna go with the read option. Gonna try it again. Rumble forward. And I think he got another first down out of it. Is Dane Jones. Keeping the drive alive with the methodical play. Four and a half minutes left in the second. And Tacoma's running the read option as best as I've ever seen. I can't wait to see what they could do in Madden 24 because that might be a money play if you have a fast quarterback. Going to be handing this one off. No, it's going to be a jet sweep. It's going to be Davin Brewer with the juke move. Juking the big homie Reese Rockefeller out of his shoes for a second as he gets inside the 45 of Detroit. Empty set again here for Tacoma. Quick pitch right side and throws a pick. He rushed it. It's going to turn up there and goes. Big home of Justin Brown trying to get past Dan Jones and taking it inside the 25. And it's not looking pretty so far here for Tacoma. The rookie gets his first INT. Going to be a handoff here. There goes Samari Jones inside the 20. He goes and picks up about five. He's at least our quarterback can tackle. Most definitely. And he got speed to catch up. Second and medium here. Gonna be passing it again, looking for a man. Steps back in the pocket and fumbles the football, gets it right back. Poco, another rookie making the play. Tacoma's gonna get it right back. The defense is coming alive right now. As they're gonna try the read option, it's been working, and he's gonna use that speed, gonna try to run through a defensive player. And takes it to the 44. Back-to-back -back turnovers. Two straight plays. Interesting to see. And you see right there, Dane Jones is not scared to slide. I mean, he's not scared to run a fool over. Yeah, shout-out to the draft class. Been balling out in this game. They're going to try it again. But this time, Calvin Thomas, don't try that my way. I know what to do with it. You might catch Damian Chambers and some of the other guys every now and then, but if you go my way, it's going to be an easy W for me. It's going to be second and 14. Maybe that was part of the game plan, too, is to avoid 77 in those plays. I think that was the first time they tried it. This is going to be a short drop back, quick pitch left side and caught, making it third and manageable. There goes James Peach. Or just stiff arm him. Yeah, that's definitely true. He needs to get a stiff arm game up. You know what I'm saying? Going no huddle here. As that is going to be a flag there on Tacoma. So it's going to be third and ten now. single back formation and it's going to be a short drop back looking right side and caught for the first down Justin Brown with the tackle but Jamari Ramses with yet another catch on the game his fourth is going to be first and 10 back in Detroit territory and it will be clutch to get some points here take it into the half Got a stacked wide receiver set here. Pistol formation is going to be a pass again. Looking right side again. Rumbling forward inside the 40. Tacoma goes. And honestly, Dane Jones has been passing the ball fairly efficiently. He has only two incompletions. One of them, yes, was an interception. It looked like it was a miscommunication there. Single back formation. 50 seconds. They're going to go ahead with another short drop back. Throws on the run. Finds his man inside the 25. 
And we should see a timeout pretty soon. Maybe they'll get one more play and try to get closer. And they'll, they'll call it now. Single back formation. Three wide receivers out there. One tight end looking for a man again. Taking off to run and decides to throw this one away. Short drop back, turn up to run, and there goes DC 83 with the sack. And now set him back a little bit. They missed a the field goal around this mark earlier in the game. Third down coming up here. They missed the field goal exactly at this mark. But they'll look to try to get some more yards here. Turning up to run. Throws on the back foot going backwards. And that is going to be a loss of one. They'll go ahead and call their final timeout, I believe. Nope, that would be Detroit calling the timeout. Try to give themselves a couple chances for some Hail Marys, I suppose. And we'll see the field goal team come out again. right in the middle of the field 43 yard field goal attempt Brent Scoma kick is going to be up and this time it's a lot better Tacoma scores for the first time tonight and it's going to be 14 to 3 Going to be returned here. Detroit with the football past the 25 to the 31. So a solid return there for Uncle Swoosh. It's going to be first and 10 coming up. Here comes a handoff. There goes Quentin. Turn it up. Past the 40. Down to the 44 and calls the timeout. So that'll help their Hail Mary chances for sure. We'll see what they can do. First and 10 again. They're going to try the ground game because why not? There goes Samari Jones getting to the three. Sorry, getting to the midfield with three seconds left. And I'm expecting the Hail Mary here.
Another hand up. I guess they don't want to try to Hail Mary. Just want to add some stats there for Tamari Jones, make it a little bit better. But we are at halftime with that. I think Detroit is going to send it away. Yes, they are. And Tacoma will have their chance to cut it into a one score ball game with the field goal or a touchdown, whichever one comes first. 12 minutes on the clock. Tacoma looking forward to come back. Here comes Dane. Going to pass it. Nope, it's going to be another carry, and he's going to lose a yard. Detroit's ready for it now. Second and 11 coming. Going to be a read option again, but this time, once again, Detroit is shutting them down. Jay Underwood and Mikey Jackson right there in the backfield to meet him. Dane Jones is going to have to beat him with that arm. Passing it again, looking for a man, go screen, turn it up, using his blockers, running into the 30, but he's going to be shy of where he needs to be. Detroit is going to get that stop. Kyle Wu talking smack says better get rid of that option. Said it worked in the first half, but you ain't going to be using that too, too often. <laughs> Detroit coming through with this quick stop. Sending this one away is Brent Skoma. Going to be returned from the 19-yard line. Trying to do a quick stutter step is uh, Uncle Swoosh, but not getting past the coverage. It's first and 10 coming up. Pistol formation here for Detroit. Handoff. Pushing forward. Finding a crease. Rumbling past the 25 to the 27. Is going to be first and 10. Moving to second and four. Hand off again. There goes Quentin turning up. First down play. Pass the 30 to the 33. Detroit looking to work that clock in their favor. Brian Ushman says we need to own the middle. Right now, the blocks have been holding up here for Detroit. Passing it again, looking left side, going to be caught, and there goes Quentin. First and 10 coming up. First and 10 coming, passing again, looking for a man, stands in the pocket, finds his man. There goes Swoosh, using that speed to the 25, and there goes Swoosh. First and 10 coming up. First and 10 coming. Going to be a delayed fake. Going to be holding the pocket. Is he going to launch it? He's going to go left side. Going to be a dot there to swoosh. Touchdown, Detroit. And Action Jackson Jr. is looking like that man.
look at that look at the game pause right there just beautiful concentration there by the second year wide receiver out of ULL kick is going to be up and it will be good 21 to 3 in favor of Detroit And then this one away. Tacoma down three scores now. It's going to be returned by James Peach. Shedding off the first man. Keeping on his feet to get to the 30. And it's going to be first and 10 coming. Sending a man in motion. Going to pass it here. Looking right side. It's going to be caught. Turn it up. Stays in bounds. Just enough to potentially get the first down. They said he's short. There goes Lamar Davis for his first touch of the game. Seven minutes left in the third. Quick pitch left side and almost throws another pick. And there goes Mikey, who missed that one. Third and inch is coming. Pistol formation. Making the handoff here. Blitz doesn't get home. Launching it right side. Going to be almost picked off again. And there goes Mikey Jackson with that under coverage. Doing his thing. Going to make it fourth and inches. Fourth and inches here. Tacoma's going to have to send it away. Assuming they want to get freaky with it. But it looks like they do have their offense Going to the sidelines and special teams is here. Almost blocked. Almost a penalty not to be, but it's going to be a pin to the one yard line. Tacoma couldn't do it any better. It's going to be first and 10 coming up and Detroit's going to have to start from the one. Have you seen in the last game earlier, uh, Preston Dotson had two opportunities before eventually getting their interception. Maybe this is the same move. You never know. First and 10 coming up. Going to be a handoff here. Chop down. There goes number 90, Carlton Rhodes. Going to be second and nine here. Will there be any more free agents coming into the fold? Tacoma offense could use the field position if we set them up. Hand off again. Gonna be looking for a hole. Stopped around the five yard line. Here comes Tacoma. Third and seven coming up. As Samari Jones couldn't keep his footing. Going to be a pass again. 
We're going to send five. They don't get home, but it's going to be caught. And there goes Swoosh again. 15 for 16 so far for Action Jackson Jr. Six catches, 109 yards, and a touchdown there for Swoosh. Trevor Hauser having some issues slowing down Uncle Swoosh today. And there goes a handoff again, rumbling forward, gets past the 15, not too much else. Tamari Jones averaging four and a half yards on 10 carries. Shotgun set. They're going to pass out of it. Looking for a man right side. And going to be caught. And there goes Swoosh again. 16 for 17 on the day for Action Jackson Jr. And he's beating up on Hauser right now. Who's currently struggling. Passing it, looking for a man, pump fake. Gonna go right side, wide open again, and swoosh. Hit him with the corner route cheese. And the offense is percolating, starting from the one. They're at the 43. And Brian Nesh is trying to get the pressure cooking here. But action has been pretty upright all game long. Had a, a sack for a fumble earlier. But outside of that, been a pretty clean game as I've seen from them. Going to be a fake of the handoff. They send the blitz. Almost gets to him. And that was almost an interception if he was able to get that pass off. A lot cleaner. Second and 10 coming. If you don't get pressure on action, he'll light you up most definitely. As we'll see a delayed handoff trying to scoot around and Coco Raccoon's there to meet him past the 45 yard line. It's gonna be third down coming up. Tacoma with the chance to get off of the field. Third and seven coming, passing it again, looking for a man. Looks middle of the field and overthrows number 81, Montezuma Popoko, who had a step. But it's going to be a stop here from the Tacoma team. Fourth and seven coming up. Sending this one away, looking for a pin on his own right, but that barely goes into the end zone. A respectable effort there for Gusto, but he's going to set up first and 10 coming up. Gusto celebrating like he actually got him pinned at the one yard line, but it's all good. Be proud of yourself. That's all I got to say. First and 10 coming. Dane Jones here again. The final two minutes left in the third quarter, middle of the field, and caught. There goes Rocco rumbling past the 40. First and 10 coming up here. Full Panther here for Tacoma. And they're going to go with the read option and drag from behind as Damian Chambers using that premium run rushing skills to get in the backfield, get in the tackle for loss. And I don't know if you heard that thunder, but it's starting to pour down here in South Florida. Second and 12 coming up. 
Our boys learning that play now. Getting better get rid of it. Gonna send big homie Beasley in motion. They're gonna pass it here. Looking to step up. Throws it. Caught. Rumbling. Gets past the 45. Gonna set up third and medium. Pistol formation here for Tacoma. Passing it again. Going to throw a short to his halfback, who's going to get wrangled down there by number five, Kalon Chase. And that's going to be yet another stop, and that should take us to the end of the third quarter. Yes, it will. Go ahead and flip the field. Shout out to all of our affiliates. You know we're doing it big here. You know what I'm saying? Going to send a man in motion. Tacoma's got to keep their offense on the field. Quick pitch left side is going to be caught, but that is not the right play. Not even sure if that was a catch. I believe that's incomplete. And that's going to set up first and 10. Going into the giveaway. Go ahead and spin that wheel. Gonna be a delayed handoff. Looking for a hole, finding a hole. Gets past midfield. Gonna pick up three. Looks like for the first spin of the evening, it'll be 10 TPE. That'll be given away to some lucky player. And it looks like it's gonna go to the Dallas Dragons, who we'll see later on tonight. Give it to Rocky Butterfingers wide receiver there for the Dallas Dragons. So he's going to get up 10 TP before the game starts. As we're going to see a flag that's more than likely on Detroit. Left tackle, I did see that they're second and 14 coming up. Taking the handoff here. Protection's breaking down. Had to throw that one away. And only his fourth in completion of the whole game. So one completion per <laughs> quarter up to this point. Third and 14 coming. Passing it again, third and 14. Protection's breaking down, running out of time, and there's a sack. And there goes Ronnie Shanahan, the third, with his second of the game. And that'll stop this drive. There's going to be fourth and 22 coming. Going to send this one away. Look for a bounce. Going to find a bounce to the five-yard line. And there by number five, Kalon Chase. is going to be first and ten coming up. Single back set. Going to pass out of it. Looking for a man on the run. Looking to throw it. Going to go right side and throws it away.
10 minutes left in the fourth quarter. Another short drop back here for Dane Jones. Looking to get something cooking. Right side and caught. Fumbles the football. Picked up. There goes Tank Falco Jr. But I could have swore he hit the ground first. We'll see if the replay comes through. Yes, it does. And this should be overturned. Should be a first down play. Maybe second in inches. No, they said third in inches. As they get back onto the field. Another short drop back. Quick pitch and overthrows his man crossing. And I have to assume it's four down territory here for Tacoma. Passing it again. I mean, returning it again is Uncle Swoosh and getting them to midfield. And one more score here for Detroit could put the nail in the coffin. Gonna hand this one off to Quentin, who's gonna get stuck. That's gonna be a loss of a yard. Second and 11 coming up. Akaj Naslo there with the tackle. Taking the handoff here, protection solid. Launching left side and caught. Turn it up, reaching for the first is Popoko, but it's going to get turned away. The center called for the hold, second and 21 coming up. Second and 21 coming. Running forward, getting those yards back or some of those yards back. Going to set up third and 14. And off, pushing forward. Going to make it past midfield and yet another hold. This time it's from Amari Jones and sending them back. But they may just decline it. It's going to be fourth and eight. Sending this one away. Looking for a bounce out of bounds, and that's going to find it. That's going into the end zone for a touchback. First and 10 coming up here for Tacoma. They got seven and a half minutes to get back into this one with the offense slowing down a little bit. Hasn't been able to get into the end zone all week. Short drop back again, looking middle field and caught. Getting closer to 30. Gonna pick up eight on the plate. And there goes Jamari Ramses or Ramesses. Another short back here for Dane. Taking off to run this time on the run. Going to be incomplete. Mr. Beasley couldn't hang on through contact. 
third and two coming. Short drop back again. Turn up to run off the back foot. Finds his man to the 40 yard line. They go. Mr. Jamari having himself a great game here in this one. Short drop back left side and gonna be caught. There goes James Peach. There with the setup, second and inches. Another short drop back looking for a man. Throws on the run, hangs on to it is James Peach. And that's going to make it first and 10 again. Detroit going in a little bit of a prevent defense, not trying to give up the big play. Another short drop back. Those on the run, punched out of the hands there of James Peach. Going to be second and 10. Another drop back again, right side and caught. There goes Remesis again. Inside the 30, Tacoma goes. First and 10 coming up. As he's going to crack 100 yards receiving today. Tacoma letting the clock. Wind down a lot of precious time. Gonna be passing it again. Right side is caught. There goes Beasley rumbling forward past the 15 to the 14. It's gonna be first and 10 coming up here. And going to get sacked again. There goes Tank for a second. Going to make a second and 16 coming up. Second and 16 coming, going screen, avoids the first sack, but not the second. Michael Rory getting in the backfield, and I believe that style starting to clean it up. It's third and 23 coming up. Short drop back, almost getting home, gets the pass off to Jamari, and that's going to set up fourth and 13 coming up. Two minute warning is here. Gonna be a drop back again. Looking left side and almost picked off. 
But regardless of that, Detroit's going to get the stop. Going to be first and 10 at the 17. That formation here for Detroit. Trying the ground game, finding a hole. Gonna get close to the first down mark. They said he got it. A gain of 10 right on the dot. First and 10 again. Clock running down. As Detroit looks to secure the victory, secure the bag, rumbling forward and gets pushed forward for another big gain. Over 75 yards rushing. It's going to be first and 10 coming. As that should close this one out, Tacoma not calling any timeouts here, only being held to three points in week four. As Detroit's probably going to just end up running out the clock the rest of the way. There goes Quentin with one last chance to get some yards. Seven for 33. Second of six coming up. And that should wrap this one up. As we'll go ahead and get to the transition. We got one more game tonight. It's going to be Anchorage at Dallas. And I'm going to run this one around 8.05, 8.10 something like that so make sure you watch out for that could be a little bit earlier going to be a fun ride as always as the game appears to be over on this side final score will be 21 to 3 and we'll go ahead and check into these statistics here let's go ahead and get into it detroit coming through with a great game they're going to move to two and two as is tacoma and we'll go ahead and get the setup right there let me go ahead and get the prediction out of the way so I don't forget. Even though I won't forget because I'm making a new one. After this one, Detroit is the victor. So whoever chose Detroit, congratulations. As we'll go ahead and check into the stats really quick. Looks like pretty even on this possession time. Nothing wrong with that. As we check into the stats, 17 for 21. 270 yards, three TDs there for Action Jackson Jr. Dane Jones, 25 for 36, 249. No touchdowns, one interception. Longest pass of the day goes to Action Jackson Jr. There with a 66-yarder. Going on the rushing side of things, Tamari Jones leading the way, 14 carries, 78 yards. Dane Jones, 10 for 40. Intravis Quinton there for 7 for 33. Uh, Davin Brewer, Three for 25. Action Jackson Jr. did fumble the football on his only attempt. And we'll see the longest carry was by Dane Jones and by Intravis Quinton. Looking at the receiving side of things, we'll start with Detroit. Eight catches, 136 yards, and one TD there for Uncle Swoosh. Amari Jones, four for 25 in a TD. Sean McGowan, two for 86 in a TD. Intravis Quinton, two for 22. Tamari Jones, one for one. Looking at the drops here, only one there by Quentin, and Sean McGowan had the longest catch of the day, 66 yards out. Great job there. Um, on the other side, uh, Jamari Rams, sorry, Jamari Ramez, uh, he's going to come through with 10 catches, 112 yards, definitely his best game of his career. Uh, Davin Brewer, 5 for 22, James Peach, 5 for 58, Rocco McLovin, 2 for 27, Joe Beasley, 1 for 14, Gern Deep Gunderson. We haven't said his name a lot, but he's going to pull in one catch for six yards. Lamar Davis won for 10. Uh, drop wise, Beasley, Peach, and Brewer each had one. Then the longest catch was by Rocco, therefore a 24, uh, sorry, 24 yarder. Defense here for Tacoma. The leading tacklers will be Ronnie Shanahan and John Carter, each with seven. Brian Neshelman, Trevor Hauser, and Coco Raccoon. A trio of rookies coming through with six tackles apiece. Patrick McGowan gets five. Carlton Rhodes, King Maximus, and Jay Money pick up four. Akash Naslo gets three. Jax Davenport Jr. and Jacob Copeland coming through with two. 
Uh, Najee Wyatt, Alpha Wolf, Jax Jackson Jr., and Dane Jones each get one. And I believe Remes is going to be on the stat sheet somewhere. We'll see. Uh, tackles for loss, Raccoon and Nazlo each get one. Sack wise, King Maximus gets one. Ronnie gets two. Interceptions, nothing here. There, Nazlo, uh, Nazlo, the only pass deflection here. King Maximus forced to fumble. Coco recovered it for two yards, and that's all the defensive stats there. On the other side, the leading tackler will be Tank Falco Jr. with 11. Justin Brown gets nine. Mikey gets six. Reese Rockefeller gets five. Damian Chambers, Calvin Thomas, AJ Frost, and Jay Underwood each get four. Dejon James and Style Stern get three, along with Kalon Chase. Michael Rory gets two. Uh, let's see, Action Jackson Jr. with the interception. Uh, he got the tackle on the interception. Kamikaze Von Doom with one tackle, and Tyler Rogowski also gets one tackle. Uh, tackles for loss, Tank Falco Jr. gets two. Uh, Damian Chambers, Style Stern, Calvin Thomas, Mikey Jackson, and Jay Underwood each get one. Tank Falco Jr. with two sacks on the day. Damian Chambers gets one. Uh, Rory and Stern split a sack. Thomas and Jackson miss a, uh, earn a sack together. And I'm not sure if that's the order, but they do have half a sack for all those guys. Uh, Justin Brown with a 39-yard interception return. Great job there. Pass deflection-wise, Mikey with three. Pass deflections, Frost, James, and Brown each get one. No fumbles forced, and that's all the defensive stats there. Kicking-wise, uh, Brent Skoman missed one field goal but made the other for three points. Javon Gusto, no field goals on the day, but he did knock through his extra points, three on the day. Punting-wise, pretty even, so I'll call this game a wash between these guys. Maybe uh, Brent Skoma get the W because he didn't miss any field goals, but still even all the way through for the most part. Pretty interesting. Uh, kick return, Uncle Swoosh averaging 26 on two attempts. James Peach averaging 25 and a half on three attempts. Punt return wise, Uncle Swoosh averaging eight and a half there on the punt return. Uh, looking at the score summary, uh, Amari Jones comes through with the quick touchdown midway through the first. Going into the second, Sean McGowan scores the second touchdown on the day there for Detroit. Uh, Brent Skoma doing his thing with a 43 yard field goal. And then that's the only points Tacoma scored. And this would be the last thing that Detroit scores in the third quarter. A 25-yard touchdown reception there by Uncle Sloosh. And that is going to be how we end the game here. Let's go ahead and get into it. One more game tonight, so make sure you watch out for that. It's going to be Anchorage at Dallas once again. Um, we're going to be setting up pretty soon to get it rolling around like 8.05, 8.10 Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you watch out going to be a fun ride as always but until then stay safe everybody and we'll be back in the mix soon ah